Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee and Chat with Hallie Bridgman. I'm so happy you could join me. I have my cup of coffee, so I hope you have a cup of coffee or tea and you have a few minutes while we chat. So, happy Monday to you. Greg and I are in a hotel. I'm actually in the business center of the hotel because this is seriously like one of the loudest hotels I've ever been in. Um, the walls must be super thin because I can hear um, like hair dryers as I'm walking down the hallway and uh, and I was trying to find a spot to talk, but I was worried if I was outside of my room, like it would disturb the other patrons of the hotel and Greg is on a business call in our room. So uh, I just went and found a place, but it's pouring outside, thunder, lightning. It's just like everything was working against me this morning. So no one was in the business center. It was either the business center or the, um, the workout room. <laughs> the fitness center and the business center was more comfortable for me. <laughs> so, um, today is my husband, Greg's birthday. Happy birthday, Greg. We went out of town last night to see uh, the Annie Moses band perform in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And if you've never listened to the Annie Moses band, I highly recommend finding their Christmas special. Uh, they have, they're on PBS every, every year with a Christmas special and their DVDs are available and you can probably find them online. They are incredible. It's a, fa it's a musical family. It's all strings and drums and, uh, unbelievable voices. I mean, it's, it was just incredible. We have seen them. This is Greg's third time and my second time seeing them live and we, we play their Christmas DVD all season. And so highly recommend it. Um, and then, uh, so then we'll make our way home today in time to, you know, make it to when the boys get out of school. So nice special birthday treat for him. Um, and today is also the last day that you can enter to win the, uh, scavenger hunt that I have going on. <clears throat> uh, I partnered with 25 other authors. It's a scavenger hunt through our Christmas books. And, uh, each, each question can be answered by looking at the look inside on the Amazon of the book. And, uh, t first place is a $300 gift card to Amazon. Second place is a $150 gift card. And third place is a $75 gift card. So this is the last day. It ends at 1159 PM. Any entries that come in after 1159 PM Eastern will not be counted. And I will be giving away the gift cards tomorrow morning. So it's a good way to get some extra Christmas cash. All right. So um, what else is going on? Oh, I posted a meme earlier this week that said, what I'd like to see is a Hallmark Christmas movie where the girl is uh, learning all about the true meaning of Christmas while hunting a serial killer. <laughs> Because I'm just not, I'm just not a romantic comedy fan. There's, there's a few that I enjoyed, but most part, I, they're so predictable and I just simply don't enjoy them. And so, uh, I like mysteries and I like detectives and I like, uh, you know, my, my go-to, I want to read something is like Agatha Christie or Nagio Marsh or something. So, uh, I'm, um... Susan Tisdale, my friend Susan Tisdale, fellow author, USA Today bestselling author, uh, she she said, I'll co-write it with you. And so I texted her last night and I said, are you serious about wanting to co-write this with me? Because I've already half plotted it out. And she wrote back and she's like, yes, call me. And so we got on the phone last night and I woke up this morning to like the first scene already written from her. And so um, y'all need to look for that on next, like November, because... This is going to be a good book. Like, like it's becoming more than, than it was originally going to be something fun and funny. And now it's like, oh, and this and this and this, and it's going to be a good book. Okay. So, um, I had a question I was going to answer from a reader, but now I honestly don't remember what it was. Uh, let's see. Well, there was a weird question. I don't mean weird. Like the person who asked it was weird, but the question was struck me as kind of weird. And it was, do you ever fall asleep while you're writing? And um, I don't when I'm writing because 
the way that my brain does the writing is to kind of experience it with my characters. And so I can see it and hear it and taste it and smell it. And I'm there and I'm, you know, cold when she's walking down a Brooklyn street with the cold, icy wind blowing. And I'm, you know, I, I catch myself making the facial expressions as I'm writing what facial expression the characters are making. And so like the active part of writing is too active for me to feel like I would feel tired. And then also every hour I get up and I go walk around my neighborhood. And then I come back into the house and I keep writing. And so I'm also very active. But um, the editing process, like that part, when I'm going through and... Uh, like I actually do a search and find for passive verbs and hit each sentence and determine do I need to rewrite that sentence or is the passive verb okay in it? Um, is there a way to make this paragraph more active and get rid of some of the passive verbs in it? That, that kind of editing? Yes. I've never actually like fallen asleep, but I've had to get up because I was too sleepy to sit there and keep doing it. And it reminded me always of like going to science class after lunch in my junior year of high school <laughs> when I was so tired and the day was so long and I don't enjoy this part of the day. I didn't, you know, I didn't enjoy my science teacher. And so, um, it was, that's, that's how I feel. Like I have, I, like I have to try to stay awake. And so what I do is I will stand and edit standing and, um, I have a desk that's ready to go over a, um, uh, treadmill and we just have to find a treadmill that's designed for it. And once that's installed, I want to like walk while editing so that, um, I can keep, you know, the juices flowing and, you know, energy creates energy. Even though I didn't enjoy science, I do remember some of it. <laughs> energy produces energy. And so, yes, I, I do get really sleepy in the editing process. And I think it's one of the reasons why I just really um, don't enjoy it is because that part of my brain just doesn't even want to do it. And uh, it's like one of the most necessary things. Like a, a, a badly edited book is a really uh, big turnoff for a reader. And I don't want bad editing to distract the reader from the story. So I'm um, really careful about making sure that it's the cleanest possible edited book I can put out. And if I give my editors, I have two editors, if I give them each the best edited copy, then they're not lost in the forest for the trees. Like they're not stuck on passive verbs and commas that I should have fixed. They can look at the bigger picture and the better, you know, and rewording for better wording or, you know, content and all of that instead of getting stuck on, wow, there was like 52 misplaced commas in this document. So yes, only when editing though. So that was a very interesting question and it, I would love to know why that was asked. Like what, what inspired the question? I would love to know that. So um, y'all have a great week. Go enter that contest, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It ends. Um, wish my husband a happy birthday if you see him. And uh, y'all have a great day, a great week. And next week uh, will be the day of my gingerbread house party. <laughs> so you'll have a very quick video for me that day. <laughs> God bless you. Bye.